My name is Nassim Sabs. Now it's not an egg, is it? It's a, it's a, it's a vessel. Is that what you it's call it? He said, "Make sure you tell everyone it's a vessel." And I said, "Okay." Okay, it's a vessel. Yeah. Okay, it's a vessel. And and you were in there for like a couple of hours. I right? was in it for three days. For three days. Wow. wow that's... <laughs> Actually, it was in, uh, inspired by uh, humanoids. Uh, okay. Alien, sex humanoid hybrid woman. My favorite. <laughs> Now this is, now you, you do something that women don't do. And what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race. And it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity. Yeah. That, that's really the statement in itself. Well, that's great. That's really good. At this stage, it would be safer to presume that the entire system is under the control of dark forces from another world. It would be safer to presume that the entire system is under control of dark forces than to assume that greedy people are looking to deliver you some sort of utopia. <laughs> you think the rich are getting richer to help you out? Have you seen California? Have you seen San Francisco? It looks like, exactly, it looks like, a, I will imagine, an alien, um, how to say, shape. Spaceship? Spaceship. UFO, flying saucer? Ah. Uh, flying saucer? It feels like an ovni from inside. Like, you're yeah. about to go to the space. <laughs> like, I've heard a lot of different things. I've heard a shawarma. I've heard a beehive. Uh, she said UFO alien. I'll be honest. I like it a lot better from the inside for whatever reason because it feels a lot more private and closed off like we have this little playground to ourselves. Welcome everybody to Hudson Yards. This is uh, really an incredible moment in New York's history. The vessel at Hudson Yards is now closed indefinitely. Today we show that New York will always be the greatest city in the world. A 14 year old boy took his own life in front of his horrified family. Take a hold of that rope. On the count of three, you're going to pull it. Ready? One, two, three. At least three people have died by suicide at the structure since it opened. The most recent death was yesterday. Hudson Yards is now closed indefinitely after a teenager. 14 year old boy took his own life in front of his horrified family. I saw this article yesterday. Are the temple vessels ready for Purim? And it talks about how uh, it may be significant to consider the recent reappearance of many, if not all, of the temple vessels. And they're wondering, are they ready for Purim? Well, just a few days ago, in New York City, there was a dedication of a new building, a piece of art, they call it. And you know what they call this new building? The Vessel, okay? That's what this thing is called, The Vessel. And it's located in New York City, all right? They describe it as a honeycomb-like structure because that's what it is. It's a beehive, okay? Now, you can take that for what it's worth, but this is that satanic spirit that's uh, basically conforming the world to adhere to its will, okay? Self-will run riot is basically what it is. But they dedicated this thing this week. And there was an interesting part in this dedication where this guy talks about the vessel. Listen to what this guy says. Well, guys, this vessel is not just a structure. This is a piece of art. The actual buildings that you see, the vessel behind us, was built by human hands. The whole point was to be lifting up 700 people, share extraordinary experience. <laughs> his, his bright yellow scarf to inaugurate the vessel. 
the beehive. Okay, that this was just a couple days ago, people, that they dedicated the beehive. Seriously, all right, and it's called the vessel. Now the Bereshit, the Israeli fake moon lander, is down to two on its count. Okay, eight weeks in space. Bereshit. I showed you how Bereshit is basically an anagram for Esther B. B. Do you understand where I'm going with this? The Beehive was inaugurated this week in New York City. The Vessel. The Vessel. 69. And it was dedicated in Hudson Yard. Okay, that's the location of this place. Hudson Yards. Hudson Yards. You can't make this up. 888. So, what's going on here? The vessels, are they ready for Purim? The vessel has been dedicated in New York at Hudson Yards. They claim how the human hands made the vessel. Look up vessel in the Bible. You are a vessel. I am a vessel. And they are trying to mold the world, the vessels, into one mind one hive mind and Bereshit happens to spell out Esther B why is that why is that and today also is the day that Moses was circumcised if you can believe that because that's what they claim Moses was circumcised on this day you can make of this what you like. I mean, Bereshi to Esther B, the same week of Purim, they're dedicating the vessel as they are asking if the vessels are ready for Purim. You can't make this up. And this whole development where they built this vessel is part of the Equinox project. Seriously now, okay? So, you know, I just show you this stuff. But it, it just illustrates this manifestation, this total, total onslaught of Satan's attack on the human soul, on your conscience to, to pull you from God and get you to celebrate yourself. Because that's what this is all about, is man's achievements and the great I am. Self will run riot. And there's too much tied to this to not bring this up. I mean, even if we look up the bees in uh, the Bible, one of the instances is Samson. When he kills the lion, he returns later, there's a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion, right? And a little bit later, he's having this feast, and he puts the riddle to the uh, Philistines there, and he says, I will give you 30 sheets and 30 chains of clothing, 30 envelopes, wrappers, Sheets, bear sheets. It's crazy. But, you know, this is nuts enough, right? But I got to show you one thing that just totally sent me over the top to do this video. And it's just off the charts. We have a business that we run here that uh, we deliver and ship things to people all around the world. And we got an order yesterday. And this order was made by a woman named Angelina Sheets. In a million years, I could not make this up. Angelina, messenger of God. Sheets. Just the messenger of God. Sheets, right? Bear a sheet. <laughs> Samson's sheets. <laughs> and the vessel. They've unveiled the vessel in Hudson Yards. Now it's not an egg, is it? It's a, it's a, it's a vessel, is that what you it's call a, it? He said, make sure you tell everyone it's a vessel. And I said, okay. Okay, it's there? a vessel. Yeah. Okay, it's a vessel. And, and you were in there for like a couple of hours. I right? was in it for three days. For three days, wow. wow that's... <laughs> Actually, it was in, uh, inspired by uh, humanoids, uh, okay. alien sex humanoid hybrid woman. My favorite. Now this is, now you, you do something that women don't do.
and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity. Yeah. That, that's really the statement in itself. Well, that's great. That's really good. At this stage, it would be safer to presume that the entire system is under the control of dark forces from another world. It would be safer to presume that the entire system is under control of dark forces. My name is Jared Howe. I haven't spoken to another human being in two years. Melanie Strider. This is the beginning of a love story. And that might not seem like a big deal, except for one thing. This is the future, and humanity is all but extinct. We have been invaded by another species, who erase our minds to take our bodies. But there are a few of us left who still fight back. I'll lead them away.